It's the new year and new laws are here. Private citizens can now sue anyone who violates the state's laws against the manufacturing, distribution or sale of illegal weapons in California. Governor Gavin Newsom came up with this idea after Texas passed a similar law, but dealing with abortions. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner is working for you. She joins us now with what you need to know. Morgan. For the most part, the law took effect yesterday. Now I say for the most part because a U.S. district judge down by you guys in San Diego actually blocked a portion of the law. The portion of the law that was blocked would have required that the gun industry pay for legal fees, the legal fees of the person that sued them, even if the gun industry won their case. Texas passed a law known as SB8 that allows people who aren't connected to an abortion to sue anyone who performs or facilitates one and receive up to $10,000 in damages. If they're going to use this framework to put women's lives at risk, we're going to use it to save people's lives. So Newsom copied the law here in California, but instead of abortion, he did it for guns. There are 40 million people that can collect $10,000. Former Senator Bob Hertzberg volunteered to put the idea into a bill form. I interviewed him about his bill back in April. So if someone has a ghost gun or an assault weapon and your neighbor sees it and they can see that you transported it, or that you have possession of it, all of a sudden they can get $10,000 plus attorney's fees. Gun rights organizations sued. The case is still going through the legal process, but a U.S. District Court judge blocked one part of the law from taking effect in the meantime the part that would have required the gun industry to pay for legal fees, even if they won the case. What they've determined is there's a good likelihood that the plaintiff is going to win. And, and, and that is an aspect of it that will cause harm right away. So that's the only reason why it was enjoined. Publisher of a Second Amendment news site, Craig DeLue, said the average citizen is not going to know if a gun is illegal. How are you going to determine if someone has, has broken California's gun laws? So he believes if lawsuits start coming in, it will be through larger organizations. These are organizations with, with deep, deep pockets, uh, and their, their whole goal, quite frankly, is going to be to sue individuals, to sue firearms retailers, and basically in order to put them out of business. When the news broke that the judge blocked a portion of the law, Governor Gavin Newsom applauded the decision. He said that this just proves that the Texas law is also unconstitutional because the California one is mirrored off of, off of the Texas law. So Morgan, you've mentioned that ruling a couple of times. What exactly did the judge say in that ruling that it enjoined part of this law? Well, he said the big difference between the two laws is that the right to bear arms is in the U.S. Constitution, whereas the right to have an abortion is not in the U.S. Constitution. Now, this is not the first time that this specific judge has ruled on a statewide gun control case and not the first time Newsom has had a few words to say about this judge. All right, we'll continue to follow the developments. Thanks so much, Morgan, for that update.